Hi, I'm Herm Gailey here on a winter afternoon with Buddy. I uh, want to give a shout out to my friend Tim Anderson at Tim Anderson Ranch and Horse Training down in Mississippi. Uh, you know, all winter I envy him, all summer I pity him. Right now I'm envying him. It's pretty chilly. It's actually warmer than it has been lately. It's in the 30s. We had a couple of videos to make, but uh, we're going to have to work around some frozen ground in part of our pen here. But for what I'm doing here, we're in good shape. So check out uh, Tim's videos. He can use his whole pen all year long. Just in the summer, he wants to melt. Uh, so it's Tim Anderson Ranch and Horse Training. Good guy, good horseman, good videos. So this guy, Buddy, we've just uh, been fooling with a little bit to get him ready for some surgery he's gonna have. He's, he's just gonna be gelded. But I like to make sure he's quieter and you know kind of ready to doctor if we need to and easier to handle although he has been a real gentleman he's seven and a half months old and really hadn't hasn't done anything wrong so what i want to do here is a thing i called flagging below threshold we all see people flag their horses or use other scary objects and the tendency is to do something that scares them and then get them over being scared Seems to me that if you're going to build trust in your horse, you might want to stay below that fear threshold. So what I'll do is I will take them right to where I see the signs that they're a little concerned, and then I'll back off. So what I like to do is to get curiosity going. Curiosity may have killed the, the, the cat, but it is good for the horse. Now you can see, he's pretty darn intrigued, and he's chasing it away. Yeah, and it's a play thing, and he, he might have thought about kicking the top of my head off. But he's more playful than frightened. And this colt has a lot of confidence. Now that, was a bad position on my part. You see, if he had wanted to kick me, he could have. And he warned me before and I ignored him because I was making a damn video. <laughs> the fact is, even with these ones that want to be pretty quiet, keep your wits about you and be a little defensive and you'll be safer. So there he is. He's not too scared of this, obviously. But what does he do if I start to move it like that? Well, it's a little more threatening to him. So I'm going to take it back below the threshold. So I kind of impinged on his comfort zone. Now I'm going to see if I can build it. So you can see that least little bit of concern there. And I'm just going to pick it up, put it down. Pick it up, put it down. Now we've got more fascination than fear more fascination than fear that's what we want and so i'm going to step it up a little and as you start to make more noise and make bigger moves he shows a little concern so instead of keeping going which is the popular wisdom is you keep going you don't back off i would just assume that he knew that i knew he was concerned and that mattered to me so I'm going to move this, move this, move this. See, he's taking his head away. Just a little bit of concern. So I'm going to get smaller. Then I'm going to stop. Get bigger, get bigger. Get, get in position here. Get bigger, get bigger. Now, that movement, I don't interpret as fear. Maybe what we need to do is let him look at it from a different position. There. See his head's going up and down. Up and down. If he was frightened, his head would probably go up and stay up. But he's following that up, down, left, right. So the fear's going out of him. So instead of 
terrorizing him with this and saying, stand there, take it, and get used to it. I'm saying, trust me, because whatever I'm doing, I'm not going to hurt you with it. And if you'll trust me, I'll get you through things. It's not that you don't want to have some discipline, but if you build that trust, you ask them to do something, even if it's something new, they're going to say, well, every other time this guy asked me to do something, it worked out okay. And you begin to prepare them for the unexpected. You have to be prepared for things that nobody would have thought of. We were riding a couple of horses several years ago under a highway underpass, uh, a trail underpass, big highway bridge. And what comes from around the side of the bridge but three guys on an aerial platform about 40 or 50 feet in the air with an active sandblaster. And you know, those horses had been enough miles with us and we had kept them from getting in trouble that neither my horse nor my wife's horse did more than look at it and keep going forward. But if we had said, let's get them used to everything in the world, well, I'd have had to go and rent a big lift and a sandblaster. But instead, what we had done was to try to get them used to the unexpected, to accepting life as it came at them and knowing that probably it was going to be okay. Now, I haven't touched him with this, and I would have waited. I tell you, the sense of touch is real sensitive in a horse, so typically I'll do that later, like this. When he already kind of knows what this is, go down between his legs, go across his back, which is a little challenging, and show it to him on the offside. To see he's looking to it, not away from it. And I'm get, getting pretty aggressive. And here's the irony of this. If I had said, I'm gonna scare the hell out of you and teach you not to be scared, and I'm gonna desensitize you to this, well, I'd have been out here for 30 minutes. I don't know how long we've been going, eight minutes, 10 minutes, but sometimes being just a little more considerate of your horse, actually causes the process to go faster. So, there's some philosophy for you. Keep below the threshold. Don't take your horse over the edge. You're gonna from time to time and then you just have to hang in there. But if you can teach your horse that you're not gonna get them in trouble, they're gonna do things for you when the unexpected comes up and that can save, you, that can save your life. Hope you don't need it, but if you do, it's a good thing to have built in. Till our next visit, I'm Herm Gailey.